Hi everyone, my name is Deep Chirang Lecture. On behalf of the entire I'm Merita family, I would like to welcome you to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to see how to integrate and work with Cisco ASA Firewall within GNS3 and VMware Workstation environment. Let's begin. We have to open up Google Chrome just to download the ASA Firewall image. But the thing is that you actually have to go to Cisco site to download this. You can find it everywhere in the internet. But for now, we're going to go to GNS3 website. Over there, go to Marketplace and click on it. Within Marketplace, just click on Appliances. There you can see, uh, go to search for Cisco ASA Virtual Appliance. Just click on it and click on download. This is the one that can be used for Cisco Virtual Appliance within VMware Workstation environment, virtual environment, and it's been downloaded. And for the image file, just go to internet, just go to Google and search just like that. Search randomly. And there you can find ASA 9.6.4 Adaptive Security Appliance ASA. Right click on it and open in new tab. There you can find the appliance. And I'm going to download this one 9.6.4. Just click on download. And you can get it everywhere in the internet. If you have got a registered uh, version, in Cisco that means you can download from there I already have a, an account so I have already downloaded it and it's here they can see here this is the ASA uh, and this is the appliance to integrate with GNS3 so open up GNS3 and bear with me first it opens up then it's going to open up VMware workstation at the background it will stay until and unless it will get an IP address it's going to assign an IP address to the VMware workstation so every day and every time when you open up GNS3 it's going to open up VMware workstation on its own you don't have to open it up manually so there you can see the assigned IP address I'm going to close this and there you can see I have already got an ASA appliance so I'm going to delete it new just name it anything let's see no appliance over here no install appliances there you can see so we are going to integrate ASA within this GNS3 import appliance go to desktop and select the image select the appliance from the desktop folder and integrate it within GNS3 next and then next again and then again next come down you can see that there is no 9.6.4 version so I'm going to create one for my uh, for my 9.6.4 version of ASA manually click on OK scroll down there you can see you have actually created the one and you need to import that image ASA image within this appliance so select this and click on open it's going to import within that 9.6.4 version of ASA and there you can see it's ready to install just select on it just select it and click on next click on yes to agree and click on next again and click on next again and click on finish it's done click on ok there you can see our ASA has been installed successfully so what we are going to do is drag and drop and I'm going to select one router 
drag and drop and connect that ASA to the router, the cables, deselect the cable and show the labels for the ports or interfaces, bring it to the corner side on the left side, okay, that'll be fine. Now start, it's showing red, that means start button, it turns on the devices, now it's showing you green, that means it's working fine. Just uh, now click on this console, that means it's going to open up console interface for router and for ASA. This one is for the ASA and this one is for the router. So we're going to actually do the initial configuration for the router and the ASA. Show IP interface brief on the router side. No assigned IP address is over there. So we're going to assign IP address to this router. Configure terminal. There. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. We're going to assign IP address 192.168.1.2 and slash 24. No shutdown. End. Show IP interface brief. All right. There you can see the IP address has been assigned to this interface on the router fast internet 0 slash 0 and this is the one for ASA just wait for a while just bear with me ASA takes a little bit time to reboot and there you can see ASA has been successfully installed and the you are in use exit mode just type enable and hit enter no password has been assigned to the privilege mode so there you can see show interface IP brief no IP address has been assigned to gigabit 0 slash 0 go to global configuration mode there just hit tab and host name would be ASA1 for our ASA assigning IP address to gigabit 0 slash 0 192.168.1.2 all right okay 1.2 is assigned to ASA and 1.1 is assigned to router 1 so yes um, IP address has been assigned to ASA now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check the reachability from ASA to router 1 no routes this is why because uh, you haven't assigned these zones you have to assign zones in ASA so name if inside it will take a it will take 100 security level by default so we have assigned name if inside show interface IP brief IP address has been assigned we have named the zone ping 192.68.1.2 pinging successfully from router to ASA and pinging successfully from ASA to router. So this is how you actually integrate ASA within GNS3 and VMware Workstation. Thanks for watching.